Hello and welcome to race number four in season one of the SORL Purina IROC series. We are here at Texas for 34 laps of action and the last race that I'm recording tonight. I was actually debating after I recorded Watkins Glen if I wanted to keep doing it. Um, I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, if I don't like how this turns out, too bad. Um, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna go up anyway. Uh, if not, you're not gonna see this. Kidding. Um, yeah. So, let's get these guys going. Darvish Jr. starts on the pole with Eric Monaco right behind him. And, uh, I did take a look. Uh, Benny wants to know this still has the exact same, uh, stats that everyone else does. Uh, he's gonna start third in the field here, and then we've got... Jesse Turner, who is last in points at the moment, and uh, definitely needs some help going forward in the rest of the season. Uh, and then we've got Eric Jacks uh, starting in uh, fifth, and then we've got Hunter Blade. Um, sorry, uh, Alexander Jones. Uh, we've got Shane Lake here as well, and then. We've got Axel Bruno and um, uh, Legacy, uh, and we've got uh, Jacob Britz, Josh Williamson, and then Logan York, Ryan Duraney, and Dave Benjamin rounding out the field. So let's, just, let's get these guys rolling off here. Uh, let's see. Halfway through this race. Most likely after this race. Probably just kind of mess with my computer stuff and think of what I want to do with it all. So, so we're at the going to take the field to the green here at Texas. And after the two last, it just Atlanta 
actually led quite a few laps. Uh, again, just couldn't get it done. Ended up finishing it. Pretty much a similar story. Uh, it didn't lead at all, though. No one else led besides. Hurt him though. Uh, and inconsistency is something that you know, uh, probably more cars there are. There's less room for, uh, well, there's really less room for, for different options. We're racing a 42 car pack. And the guys in the last car. In this case, yeah, it could happen, but uh, there's other guys still have a chance of finishing up close. Just simply, you really, you really have to be consistent in the series. The less cars, the more consistent you really have to kind of be. Um, but that also plays on the whole, if there's less cars, you really get a lot of points anyway. But the first is the cars, and where you finish, top five is your best bet. As uh, Eric Jacks was really off the pace of our leaders here. As uh, he got into the wall, it's probably happened. Somewhere has uh, been once enough on the back. And once again, actual Bruno, Jesse Turner, Ryan Green, and uh, the new drivers that we haven't seen a whole lot of. Same with Al Legacy. These four drivers are just kind of just kind of in the background. Um, at least it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit He's shown glimpses here and there of just, uh, just coming in and showing that he can win the first time he's proven to be consistent with it. As uh, Jacob Brits and uh, Connor Gray are uh, going to uh, take first and second. Still in the top five. Oh, there we go. Eric Monaco, Monaco, one of those drivers that really could tell you, he, he, he looks at him by staying up front, but I don't really see him lead all that often. Um, he runs up front consistently. This one is so good for him as uh, we do have a caution now, Rain, Rainy around, and uh, we're definitely going to take a look at that. Board. You see, I won't really talk about it since it does have some rear end damage. I'm not really going to talk about it here. Um, I guess, yeah, I, I kind of talk through this section. Um, if not, then I, I may cut out the audio for this. It, uh, it's a 50 50. So I may not talk about anything important just in case. Or I may leave it kind of like a... Okay, this is where this it's going to show sure right now. Or something like that. Hi, Sandy. I'm almost done. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a hard hit there. Uh, so, I, yeah, I think I might... I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, I might just talk through this one. Because I am tired, and, and, and it's not a whole lot more work, but I already have to kind of go have a little Hunter Blade? I guess I've already made up my mind. Hunter Blade, uh, the leader at the moment, looks like Jacob Britz. It looks like they were all kind of in the transition period as Jarvis Jr was able to secure second. I don't know what it is about this Twix car right here. Like, I don't know, I'm just liking it. I'm liking, I'm just liking the, like the five up top and the, the, the dual stripes. Mm. It is kind of nice though, like the Yeah, 
I was about to say, could have sworn some of these cards have black and pure logos that they should have. Um, yeah, okay, cool. I don't know why I didn't see that or assume that. But, uh, Hunger Blade? If, uh, if he gets the win here, that'll definitely, definitely give him a boost. Uh, Watson, I guess this is really where Watson needs to kind of step up on this restart and, and make up some ground. Shane Lake able to make his way just outside the top five. Hey, he's inside. Oh, I didn't look at that in the first place, but, uh, yeah. Shane Lake's sitting in a, in a nice seventh position, and, uh, Benny Watson sitting in 11th, just outside the top 10. And it's weird, right, seeing all these drivers, um, like, it looks like there's more, it's not. That makes sense. Um, so, oh, uh, I guess what I can talk about, uh, so, coming off of uh, land, I think I kind of figured out what I'm going to do. I think I might, like, uh, uh, this series will end, and I think I might do, like, a, a, like a, a small special, I guess, like, a small special, and, and I'm going to keep you surprised until it's time, but, uh, hopefully you will enjoy it. It's just a small little thing to bridge the gap, um, so, uh, I might, I might run that real quick just for fun, and then we'll, we'll move on to our other series, which um, I thought about, and you know, the pace lights off this time, before I continue, pace lights are off, so we are going to go back racing, uh, rain, rainy, there, I honestly don't think that there's too much accidents, uh, so I think I might take a step to the side, to the side uh, instead of doing the SESO Season 3, I think I'm just going to do like a quick intermediate, intermediate, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see uh, how that goes, uh, but I guess I was going to try to keep this, I don't know, I might as well say it. I don't know. If you're listening, then you know. If you if you just skip to the end, uh, I am going to bring, or I'm going to bring back the Throwback Cup series and the Elimination series. They are going to be on different names, but um, unlike the other series, so season one and both series will be at the same time, and then whenever I use the proper mod that I originally wanted to do with it with all the other series, um, they will be in Season 2 from there on out. So, can go for Or, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, but no, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do Season 2. But, uh, pace part is off. Shame. <laughs> Hunter Blade. <laughs> I guess I should make that Hunter Blade. Leads us to the game. And we're already almost on the left. Um, Doris Jr. Looks like he might be able to make a move here, so... Is that Jacob Bitts? See, there's times when I think I need to restate what I've stated. I think it does. So it leaves me in this awkward situation. And, uh, at the moment, Doris Jr. Couple of these drivers increasingly, increasingly look like they're going to win each with each week. Honestly, uh, Thomas Schumer here, Eric Monaco, Eric Monaco might be one of those drivers. Uh, definitely on the radar. I don't think he's there just yet. But definitely, Thomas Schumer in the lead. Eric Monaco definitely. Drivers that has uh, been increasing on that front in the past couple of races. And I think 
too much ground here. That's a kind of weird glitch. Eric Monaco now out front with Josh Williams on the car. Is that Axel Bruno and Jesse Turner I see? I don't see who would be a car. Axel Bruno and Jesse Turner, two of those drivers I mentioned earlier. I guess you can count on Jimmy Jones in there as well. How would I see? Sitting on a nice light. Oh no. I guess he fell out. I'm gonna have to see you. I'm gonna have to see you in the 10th spot. Because he wants to still stay in that 11th for the least spot. This is uh, Josh Williamson. So we're kind of closing down here on lineups. So this is getting a little bit more interesting. Josh Williamson, Jesse Turner, Axel Bruno. Guys that we're doing this is fun. Kind of, kind of all we've got up front. Out to a commanding lead, something that I don't know what's wrong yet. Just kind of zoning. Look at this. Benny Watson getting, honestly, making his way up. Getting our show like any hope. Just definitely keep him ahead in points if, if this is how we can finish. It's not how you finish. Um, over here at Texas. And Slowly from Turner and, uh, and from Jones, but uh, it's a good thing to answer for what uh, happened. Is Jones now going to get around Turner? Going to be a little bit better. He's going to get a chance at it. And uh, Turner, honestly, these two guys here really, really enjoy it. Alexander Jones going for another attempt on Turner and as he comes over to Turner, it's not really going to get me there. He's going to keep that line, but uh, I'm going to just see. Thomas, Thomas Jr. falls back in the field. Honestly, I think he may have gotten into the wall, something that really is just a clear. It's kind of like the score. He may, he may not have gotten the wall, he just may have had a bad break, but uh, he's kind of like a genius. He's kind of like a bad break, he's been really strong, and then since some point he's grown and lucky. He's uh, Shane, Shane Lake trying to get around Benny Watson here, and we'll have to see how this plays out. Lake still there. But Watson's going to be really good. Really cool. And uh, Jesse Turner. I think we can easy move off of Josh Williamson. Just like that. Chain Lake, I guess you could argue, put Watson in the wall. I don't think so. There's Watson in the like seventh one. Uh, definitely how slow he's going to be. This is his second time in the wall. And the four guys that just honestly haven't done too well this season. Arguably, Josh Williamson is probably the best in the world. So, I found Shane Lake and Jacob Britz really here to disrupt this party. Benny Watson now falling back into ninth, trying to uh, make up something. Looks like he's going to get eighth back off of Monaco. And uh, I'm going to know that he is behind. Morris Jr. is going to come back through, through the field as uh, he's going to be able to get a little bit of a walk to be honest, would help Watson a little bit. Uh, Watson a little high on the track, and uh, I think he might get into the middle again. It's not going to hurt, but uh, look at this. Shane Lake in second. Shane Lake in third. 
Jacob Brits moving up fairly, fairly fast. As, uh, for second, as Jesse Turner is only going to hold on. Scratch that. Four laps. Now. to go, I didn't even realize we were looking to get the second half of the season, which for the first half of this season we could be on a full basis, which uh, I'm hoping that isn't the case, and honestly, as we come to the white flag, if Jesse Turner can get this win here today and hold off Shane Lake, sorry, that was backwards, if Jesse Turner here can hold off Shane Lake and get this win, that, that would just, that would have to help us so much in points we don't need, as we know, and some uh, damage. Well, yeah, as Jesse Turner comes off at turn number four, and Jesse Turner coming back to the line is going to win his first race of the season. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, I well, I think he may have finished and last, and, uh, is the case that's definitely gonna hurt him more than it was. And then Watson finished in 13th, definitely not where he wants to be, considering his position in the points. Jesse Turner, again finishing on top. Congratulations. Um, definitely coming back after having not so great races to start the season. Definitely a great turnaround. Shane Lake finishing in second. Really trying to get, get somewhere in points. Get even higher in points than it was. And then Alexander Jones, great finish. Axel Bruno, great finish. Uh, Darwis Jr. able to come back, finishing fifth. Something that he needed. Uh, but yeah, that was your top five. And again, Range Rainey. not the spot you want to be in. So, um, and we'll have to see how points shake up. But, uh, yeah, congratulations to Jesse Turner. Uh, I don't know where we're going to go for next race, but, um, yeah. uh, wherever we go, I'm hoping it's a good one. Maybe Darlington, now that I'm thinking about it, like it just popped in my head. I may go to Darlington, Richmond. Ooh, Darlington, Richmond. Richmond, Darlington. We'll go to Richmond first. No, we'll go to Darlington first.